So we're back at it again. We finish scrape him, we finish roast him, and we're gonna start with the gutting process. Alright? Right. We'll get a close up on it from there. First thing first, we make the incision at the neck. Well, this is how I just go about doing it, right? This is the more effective way for me. Right? Make an incision at the neck. To the few people who don't know, they are missing Guti, right? Miss or some of you may call it ring, right? To the upper part of the neck and to the back of the tail, right? Make this run straight down to the belly line, come straight down, back to the private. Cut on either side, base of the tail, right above the tail, base of the tail. Alright, so if you see it here, this will eliminate this one here, the process. You see these here, these glands here? Right? Yeah, if it eliminate it one time, come into the process, I got it. Alright. <laughs> yeah, why run by? The shell has slug. <laughs> Straight through. Try and be precautious and don't let the gut get damaged in the process. Place the fingers inside, give the knife enough room to be able to work. Right? And there we have it. The whole interior of the animal, of the carcass. All the pressure on the back leg and voila. Thing up on the tail, cut the windpipe to the inside of the animal, separating the, the vital organs from the intestine. There will be a wall, two thin slicker uh, of meat, right? Now, what I just do is I just pull it directly over, hold and pull. Watch it, eh? Clean, clean. Straight down. This is the product you will end up with. Nothing inside the animal which isn't edible. Clean product. Simple. After you could do a little trimming. Or say about a clad and thing that is still in the animal, you try and get it out. Or else you might or else whosoever had it before would know that it would hamper the taste of the animals. As I was saying before, there are a few mist on the animals. But why it does be eliminated when we clean any animal is because we don't eat the head. Right? We have hunting dogs. We would heap up the head or gather them and cook about five or six head and make a nice pot of a dog food for the for the dogs and them that does be working. So they too would be able to enjoy the animal which we would just be harvesting. Right? But for those who, I know some, probably have some people who does eat it, right at the base, at the neck here, you would see it here, the difference in the grading of the meat. You understand? It would be a kind of marbly kind of finish. This is the mist. This would give you a, a taste on the animal that you probably wouldn't like. So advisable it would be to get, to get it out. There we go. This is it. You see the texture is completely different from the meat. The color is different, right? Nice. A little wash out. Get rid of the 
Lil Clara natin. Let's see. Here we have it, people. Perfectly clean aguti. Ready for just cutting up and cooking. Alright, stay tuned for the cleaning of the possum or the manicure as we know it, right? <laughs> 